You know, I thought if you were a good person and you do right by people, that people will take your kindness and, and give you kindness back. But what I realized is sometimes in this world, the kinder you are, the more they try to play you like a fool. I was delusional. I'm nice to you, you nice to me. It don't always work like that. Sometimes it's nice to me and I take advantage of you. So some of y'all, you delusional. I just need you to do me a favor. When you are delusional, you can never get the outcomes you want because you, the, your, the premise in which you're operating from is a lie. So I need you to do me a huge favor. I just need you to be real. You already know that job, you ain't about to, your boss ain't about to cash you out. But you're delusional that one day is going to be your day, that one day you're going to merge your job and your, your calling together. It's not going to happen. You're going to have to just leave. The, the version of you that you are right now is a blessing, but it won't take you to the next level. What got you here won't take you there. Get up! Act like you're playing basketball. Act like you're playing football. Compete! That's what bothers me. Many of y'all are not competing. I need effort. Compete! Go to class. I just left the school telling these kids, act like you're playing football. Go in that doggone classroom. Compete! Many of you have lost your competitive air. Get your competitive edge back. I'm not against no other motivational speaker. I'm just competitive. Some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you cut off beast mode. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here, and I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I ain't leaving. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this opportunity until I get it. We go put in work because every time you put in work, you get the same consequences. You get paid, you get rewarded. And when you out there dealing with the real world, it ain't pretty. You got to have heart. Get some heart. That's why you gotta do me a huge favor. You gotta do me a huge favor. You gotta get to the point where you don't need a car anymore. You don't need a house anymore. You don't need to be pushed by anybody anymore. Your dreams, your wives gonna push you. Your spouse is going to push you. Your child is going to push you. The need to get better is going to push you. Because you're closer than you're ever going to be, it's going to push you. You don't need anything to push you. Your goals are going to push you. Your dreams are going to push you. The, 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 the opportunity of a lifetime that happens in this particular time frame is going to push you. We're going to put in work. Because every time you put in work, you get the same consequences. You get paid, you get rewarded. Many of you will not be successful because you've got this giant goal and no steps to go with it. You're just in your mind like, girl, this is my year. How many steps? I don't know. Like, what is it gonna take for you to do it? I don't know. I just know this is my year. Can I be real with you? If you can't measure it, it ain't real. Keep your dreams phenomenal. Keep your vision phenomenal. Keep it phenomenal. And now I need you to get your weight up. As an individual, I need you to get your schedule up. I need you to get your life up. I need you to get your words up. I need you to get your heart up. I need you to get your action up. I need you to get to a place that every single thing that you do is phenomenal so that the life you want to live, you can actually live that life. I had a conversation with Les Brown. Les Brown had called me to Orlando. We sat in the hotel and I left and I started talking to Les and I started naming like, yo, you Les Brown, this person, number one in the world. He said, don't you ever say that again. I said, don't say what? He said, you the best in the world right now. I said, what? He said, you the best in the world right now. There's nobody as good as you in the world. You're the best right now. The only reason you're not the best right now is because you don't believe you're the best now. And when you walk out this room, I want you to go in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm the best right now. He said, before you even become number one, start to proclaim it and say it long before it happened. Say, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And when I was number 20, I started saying, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And I went to to the computer and the world said exactly what I said that Eric Thomas is number one in the world I spoke it the world heard it and it activated your problem is that you don't believe you belong here so listen to me there are those of you saying I want to be a millionaire I want to be the best at this company right but your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding that you're spending more money than you're making. Why? Because you're a consumer, but you're, you're reading all the books and you're saying everything the books are saying, but those books are not in alignment with your values. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change.
What you cannot do is you cannot quit during the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Maybe I ain't never been through what you've been through, but I've been through my go through. And you don't, you don't, you don't get here by quitting when you tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you done. You don't stop when you tired. You stop when you done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. And so I execute for my mom. I execute for my grandma. I execute for my sister. I execute for those kids in the hood who looking for a role model. That's why I wear the hat with a PhD. That's why I wear the J's. So when the kids in the hood look at me, they say, if ET can do it, I can do it. That's why I can't quit and give up, even though I get tired just like everybody else.